right into this look. I'm just going to start by spooling my brows with the brow MVP in dark brown. I love the spooling on here. This is like a brush, actually. I could probably use this for my baby hairs, but we're just going <laughs> to... <laughs> We're gonna spoolie those brows out. I'm using my Eden pencil in dark brown. And I'm just gonna carve out my brow by the top. Carving out the top. Giving my natural eyebrows. We're not gonna add no eyebrows to this. Just the bottom. Carve them out. Right now I need my brows done, but we want to make it work. So I'm gonna keep carving that out. Making it neat, neaten it up a bit. Then I'm going to spoolie those again. Try to give it a fade effect. Just something that's not so harsh at the tip. I'm going to keep spooling that brow out until it's the liking that I like. Keep carving that out. And now, I'm going to be using my Josie Moran Vibrancy. This is an Argan Oil Concealer. And it's in the color Rich. And I'm going to be carving that out. I'm going to be using the applicator for this because it's nice and thin. And it's long. And it just, you know, it goes with everything. And it works for me. Just carve those brows out. Right there. Carve them out. Nice and neat. And then I'm be using my 230 blending brush. But now I'm changing the music because I don't like the music. So we're going to change the music right quick. Give me a minute, y'all. The vibe is off. I'm off. I need good music while I'm doing my makeup <laughs> at all times. My clients know that. Now I'm going to be going in using my blending brush by Fenty in 230. I love this blending brush because it just... It gets every nook and cranny in every corner and it's a long tip it's a long brush it's not short so you are getting those strokes it's getting everything so I really like this brush I enjoy this brush I use this all the time we're gonna go in up uh, let me use the brow MVP again because I love the brush on it it's just you know it neatens everything up also so I'm gonna go using that I'm gonna go blend out the top I am gonna go in and use just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the top now. Yeah. Blend it out, make sure it's nice and blended. Now, boom, we did both brows. I'm gonna go with my Juvia's Play Tool palette and I'm gonna be using three different shades I'm gonna start off by using that brown shade and I'm gonna cut my crease with it when I start doing it you see how I'm, the brush that I have the brush at the tip if you're using the brush in the beginning of the brush the top of the brush is gonna come out very harsh so I make sure I start off by blotting it and dotting it blotting it and dotting it blotting it when I'm putting the color on I dot it blot it and dot it I'm gonna keep on doing the same thing with my crease blotting it dotting it blot dot blot dot blend blot dot blend that's what I do and I'm gonna continue doing the same thing Keep blending. Blending is key. If you don't blend, the eyeshadow is going to look crazy. I'm telling you, my eyeshadow used to look crazy, y'all. Keep blending until you, you're satisfied with it. Keep, but keep, keep blending. I'm telling you, keep blending. Now I'm going to go in with my 
Bow Bella brush. It's a small little eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go with the top using the Zool palette using that yellow. And I'm going to make my, you know, my eyeshadow look like a little sunset or something. I just want to blend it out the top to just blend those two colors in, which is that one color and which is that brown color. But I want everything to you know mesh well together so i'm just gonna go at the top and blend that yellow out into that brown i'm gonna go in and blend that brown again to pick up a little bit more brown and just blend it out And now I'm going to go with my Superstay Maybelline Concealer in the color 30. And I'm just going to take, you know, my regular, I don't even know what brush this is, but I know it's it's small. And I'm going to use the cut my crease into like a moon shape. Just a little moon shape. Doesn't have to be all that neat because I am going to blend out the top after I'm done so any mistakes you make you can blend that out and you can sharpen that look up with a different brush but I'm gonna be using the same brush I'm gonna just do like a cut crease because I am using three different colors so I'm gonna just cut the crease a bit Conceal. I just gotta, you know, dry it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that same brush that had the brown on it and just, you know, go over that concealer. You know what concealer I wanted to try? The P. Louise base. Uh, after this quarantine, I'm going to buy me some P. Louise base. It's gonna take a month to get here, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna see what that's about. But off subject. Um, I'm gonna go in and just, you know, blend that out a bit. And right now, I'm gonna go inside of the Zulu palette and I'm gonna take the first color, which is that yellow. I'm using one side. I'm using that yellow. And I'm gonna just pat it, pat it on. Oh, the brush that I'm using is the Fenty, I'm using the, uh, blah, using the Fenty 240 eyeshadow brush. This was a little bit of task because this this eyeshadow brush is kind of big. I was, you know, moving forward for a little brush, but this worked out just fine. And I'm just going to blend that yellow in. Pat it. Don't swipe. You know, a lot of you guys swiping, I feel like you should pack on that color like the color should be packed on and now I'm going to go in with that orange I'm going to be using the other side you know yellow and orange is like sisters like y'all like y'all like the same color but y'all really not so I'm just going to go in with that orange and I'm going to blend it into the yellow Keep blending, ladies. Blend, 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 blend. I'm telling you, without blending, I don't know. I was lost without blending. And now I'm going to take that deep purple look. I am going to use the same side that I used the yellow in. It's fine because that's the last color that I am using with this eyeshadow look. So I'm just blending that purple, violet color. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna just blend, blend, blend it into that orange. Blend, blend, blend. Keep blending, ladies. I'm 
take that orange and pick it back up because some colors could disappear when you're blending so it's okay to add you know the same color that you are using into the mix just to make it you know all in one and blend all together so you're just going to blend all three of those colors out together I'm going to take some yellow and pick that back up and use it again now I did both of my eyes for you guys so just speed the process up I'm gonna go with my Maybelline 360 and mocha I'm gonna do like three drops I feel like that's too much foundation but just for the sake of this video I'm gonna use some of my Fenty Fenty and pro filter in the color 420 and I'm gonna just put a dot of that because I have hyperpigmentation and my skin color is all over the place so we're just gonna use that and just blend that in it looks orange but I promise you it's not I don't know why the camera is looking like that we're so gonna fix that just blend it all out blend it out and I'm in love with my instapot brush by Real Techniques. This is one of the best brushes. Shout out to Kiki Adams for putting me on in this brush. She said this brush, I went to bought five of them. I love these brushes. Shout out to Kiki. Right now, I'm gonna go in with my Vibrancy Concealer and I'm gonna go under the eye. With concealer, I noticed that please don't go past your eyebrow with this because I feel like it's gonna stretch your face out more. I already got a fat face. I feel like, you know, it's gonna stretch my face out more if I put it all, all the way past your, your eyebrow. So I'm just gonna be using the same color in Rich. I'm going to be using that under my eye, down the bridge of my nose. You know what I don't do no more? I don't put it everywhere. I don't put it at my forehead. I don't put it on my, my cupid's bow. I don't put it on my chin anymore. I don't know why. This is setting. Prep and Prime by MAC. I'm using my Fenty blending, blending sponge and I'm just going to go in and blend that out. Blend, blend, blend. looking over there looking at the next thing I gotta pick up and see if it is there if you see me staring over there looking I'm like where's the next step what's the next step <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up my Sasha Buttercup in the color warm beige my favorite I use this on my darker clients in me because I'm darker I use the banana on the fair skin girls. So I'm gonna be using. I gotta pick up a dry one. So I'm gonna use my favorite real technique sponge. I'm just gonna pour some in the cap. It makes it much easier. Because it has a stopper on it. So I'm just gonna go in and tap that in. Pat, pat, pat. Some more on here using a dry sponge. Go under here. Period. 
<laughs> All right, now we're done with the under eye look. I'm gonna go with my 24 gram glam palette, and I'm gonna be using those two browns right there. I thought I was contouring, I wasn't. I, I don't know what happened. I thought I wanted to contour. It's just an added powder on top of a powder. But I am gonna add my powder on top of this. So I don't know what I really was doing. I thought I wanted to contour, but I used the wrong brush. I'm still gonna blend it out. I'm still gonna blend it out. Still gonna blend it out. All over the powder set everything now. I'm gonna go in. Here, and I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose with my dark powder in the green glam morphe palette. It's gonna go down the bridge of my nose on the sides, you know, to get your nose a little snatched. Sometimes I like to snatch my nose. And I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go in it and blend, blend that nose out. I'm gonna be going with my mascara and my Fenty. I love this mascara. Even though I don't need it, I put it, you know, I use it anyway. And now I'm gonna be going with my bronzing powder. Now I'm just all over blending out. All over blending out. Going in, about to put my lashes on. Pop them lashes on now. I'm going under, I'm just gonna blend that out. Blend out that powder under there, that setting powder. I don't wanna wipe it away, but I feel like that's what I'm about to do with this little brush to wipe it away. I like pressing it into my skin. I really don't like doing this. I feel like it's sweeping it away, like it's throwing the product away. I feel like I want a little bit more color to this, so I'm gonna go with my Mayo color in the neon green, and I'm gonna just, you know, pop that into my eyes right now because I need extra color. Pop that right into my tear duct because I want it extra, a little bit extra. I feel like this needed more color. I feel like it really needs more color. It does. So basically, the same colors that I used at the top, the yellow, the orange, and the purple, I'm just going to be using those colors at the bottom of my waterline, you know, just to pop the look a little bit more.
gonna do the same on the other side. Yellow, orange, and the purple. that now I'm gonna go in with the same mascara by Fenty I'm gonna go down and just give myself some lashes at the bottom because I don't have none I have some I don't have a lot but I have some Now, I'm going to go with my favorite Juvia's Place in the Columbia, I believe, in the highlighter. Yes, this is my favorite highlighter. I'm just going to take it on my brow bone just to give it that pop. I feel like everything needs a pop. <laughs> Look at me. Putting it everywhere. I'm going to put it a little bit more because I can't see it. If I can't see it, it ain't there. <laughs> so I can't see it, it's not there. And I'm taking an extra mile and I'm putting it, popping it into my tear duct with the green. Even though I know it's going to just mess up the green, but I just want that color. I'm going to take my Real Technique brush and I'm going to just add my highlighter. I love this highlighter. See, I need more. If I can't see it, I need more. Take that same even pencil and dark brown. I'm just gonna do my lips, outline my lips, and I'm gonna be using my NYX butter gloss, but I forgot the <laughs> the color. Everything's gonna be in the description bar below. This is a very sheer, nude, pinky color. I love it. And there you have it. I'm just loving the look. It's nice springtime. Fun girly. And I'm done with the look. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love this look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to push out more and more and more content for you guys. This is something I have to do. This is what I want to do. So this is what I'm going to do is push out more content. I'm loving this look. It's giving you springtime. It's giving you summertime. Bright colors. I'm going to do more bright and playful looks for you girls. And this is just the start of it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.